Right, let's talk about convergent boundaries. Convergent boundaries are the types of boundaries where we see two plates moving together or converging. There are two types of, of convergent boundaries, or continental collision and subduction. Continental collision occurs when you have two continental boundaries, so two continental plates coming together. Subduction is when you have a continental plate colliding with an oceanic plate or you have two oceanic plates coming together. Let's take a look at each one. The first type we have is a continental collision. These are two continental plates coming together. And we see this happening as the subcontent of India is colliding with Asia. And we form the Himalayan mountains here. So you see we get these folded mountains that kind of push together. You may remember this from our graham cracker and icing lab, or if you haven't done it yet, you'll soon notice in our graham cracker and icing lab that when we push the wet graham crackers together, we ended up with this uh, folded uh, type of mountain right here. And this is exactly what we experience out in the Himalayas. So Mount Everest is actually uh, in the Himalayan mountains. So the highest mountain on our planet is formed from a convergent boundary being pushed up. The second type of boundary is a subduction zone. And a subduction zone occurs when we have two plates coming together and one slips underneath, sub, kind of like submarine uh, or subway. They go underneath. It goes below. So this plate is going to duck down below. And so we would expect that this is being caused by convection currents down here in the asthenosphere. It can occur between two oceanic plates or an oceanic plate and a continental plate. Again, we have convection currents in the asthenosphere, which are driving this movement, this convergent boundary, pulling this oceanic plate, in this case, underneath a continental plate. Now, whenever we have a convergent boundary that's a subduction zone, there's a few common features. One is you're going to see that there's a deeper area of the water right here. Uh, this is known as a trench. And trenches are actually the deepest places that we have on planet Earth. Specifically, the Challenger Deep is part of the Marianas Trench, which is a subduction zone just off the coast of Japan here. The Marianas Trench in this Challenger 7 was just only recently explored at the very bottom. It's 35,904 feet deep, making it even deeper than Mount Everest is tall. So if you think about it, the highest and lowest parts on Earth are both because of convergent boundaries. The second feature that we would anticipate uh, finding at a subduction zone occurs when this magma right in this region here is put under pressure. You add in that this water has made this uh, oceanic plate uh, a little bit uh, wet and so when that water is added to the magma it makes it less dense and this magma is trying to escape because it's less dense it wants to float so it finds any crack it can and it w end up with some volcanoes. Okay. The Ring of Fire, which is the area of subduction zones that surrounds the Pacific Ocean, um, is a bunch of subduction zones where you either have oceanic plates slipping underneath continental plates or oceanic plates slipping underneath other oceanic plates. And just like we just talked about with volcanoes, you can see the number of volcanoes that occur all around this Ring of Fire. There's just a whole lot of them. Let's take a look at this region right here in specific around South America and do a little uh, more studying there. First thing we find when we look at the coast of South America is that there's a deep ocean trench. All right, and this is just what we talked about early on with the Marianas Trench. We find the same thing along the western coast of South America. We can also look and see are there any earthquakes. So these, are, these are all major earthquakes that have happened since 1900. You can see they're pretty significant. 8.4 magnitude, 8.1, 7.8, 8.6 magnitude. These are 9.5 magnitude down here. These are some in incredibly powerful earthquakes all occurring right along this subduction zone. The next thing that we said that we would expect is volcanoes. So look, these are all the location of volcanoes along the western coast of South America. This is an eruption um, of a volcano in Chile in 2005 which is pretty spectacular. In summary, uh, we have convergent boundaries. That occurs when you have two plates which are coming together. 
we have two types of convergent boundaries. We have continental collision, which is between two continental plates. When those two continental plates collide, we create folded mountains, which is just like the Himalaya Mountains where Mount Everest is located. The second type of convergent boundary is subduction. Subduction can occur between two oceanic plates, or an oceanic plate and a continental plate. And in this case, the oceanic plate is more dense and it's going to sink beneath the continental plate because it is more dense. This is going to result in trenches, volcanoes, and frequent earthquakes.